Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords. Where are we? We're in March. Okay. Yeah, last episode we took our seventh province. Our our fiefdom is almost complete. We could actually just take this out and be done with it, but let's spend another episode just kind of working through our well, our five settlements. We've got our original Gandalf. And then we went to Samwise, and then we grabbed Gimli. But then we tossed in a Pippin, who's just starting to get his feet under him. And then Gloin. Actually, Gloin was first. That's right, then Pippin. So let's start with these guys, I think. We're in March. March, March means the beginning of berries. But beyond that, there's not a lot going on, so probably no real deadlines to be uh, to be working on we do yeah we should, let's get the uh, the manners upgraded in fact let's explore that a little bit we're sitting on 6,000 here that was that was really odd did we lose anybody in the other um Sam White no we're right here 24 in the retinue for Gimli and here we go Samwise uh, 22 and Gandalf 22 let's explore this a little bit because I was shocked when I popped into here and found that the upgrade costs were 24 and 12. We tried to upgrade Gimli over and over again. It was always 999 and 499. Samwise was too. So let's see what Samwise is now. 24 and 12. We're still running 7.975. Nothing has changed. That nothing has changed that has been broadcast in a sense of a real hotfix or update. Whether or not a tiny little change in code blipped over um, without, you know, announcement, I don't know. Um, Gandalf was always 26 and, or 29 and 14, but it's also the 12 and 24. So for some reason, and I don't, well, the only thing that's different right now is that Gandalf was completely upgraded. So Gandalf was maxed out, and that was, when that was done... These guys went to 999 and, and 499. So we could try to recreate that condition. Though, if I do, and it does in fact do that, then I've got the pain in the butt of what it took to upgrade these guys by going one soldier at a time back over to Gandalf. So I don't know that I really want to do that. But, yeah. Um, let's get these guys maxed out. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. If I have to restart the episode, I'll restart the episode. But let's let's get you guys back up to full speed. And you, you, you are in fact just twelve. We've got our own um, uh, plate armor. That's that's what it's called, plate armor. So we can do it for the the lowest number, twelve. And I don't know if Samwise also has the plate armor brought over. We've been asking to buy it for quite a long time. Let's find out if it ever arrived. Uh, that is not Samwise. Here we are. This corner. There we go. Any plate? Nope. No plate ever made it through the trader. Even though Gimli is actually selling it now. Gimli's making it right over in Blacksmith Armorer General. There you are. We have 51 to sell and we're not selling it let's figure out what's going on there let's grab a trader trade military very bottom plate armor we're asking to keep zero we're on full trade so that does uh, export and import let's go ahead and switch you over to foreign so we're willing to sell it out of the market but i don't have this bot so it won't do any good so we'll just do that okay so we're selling it to within our own provinces which in this case just means Samwise because Gandalf already has the 40 that we're asking for well we have 35 we just spent five so it's possible they'll grab some more hey we're unpaused let's get that going again so that gets Gandalf going let's switch over to Samwise max you out I won't go through and, and repaint uh, all of them they're normally over here running all gold Gimli was all green and Gandalf was gold and green but we'll get these last two bought and we'll have to full upgrade pay the full price of 24 which is way too low 
what do you think about that? That's that is the cost of the plate armor, but that should be paying for a helmet. It should be paying for a weapon. I don't know. It just seems like it should be more to really kit these guys out, but not 999. That's that's ridiculous. So yeah, I don't know whatever caused that bug to hit or what it was that triggered it for those all those episodes, but now won't. It's real strange why adding these two fixed these two. I don't have an answer for that one. But let's fill you out. What I'm curious about, what just happened? That's 12 of... Oh, I don't have the, the garrisons built. Okay. Well, let's do the last one then. Uh, you and you of 12. That's right. So let's get you filled in. And I wish I could just bang, 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 bang right here too. That's, that's a lot of clicking to get all these guys upgraded. But it gets a sense of these guys are, are becoming a little bit legitimate. But we do have to put in the garrison over here if we want to get the other ones. What I'm thinking is if I get these all filled in before we take that last province and become a more formidable force, will the game throw at us a much stronger uh, enemy uh grouping to come out you know more more troops to come at us when we take this one and i'm now i'm kind of wishing i might even go back to an old save one day just to see what happens what happens if you try to claim both of these at the same time does the game let you in which case you know it would have cost four thousand uh influence points but we did have it but it would have been interesting to see if both armies would have combined to come at us or something a lot more formidable to a lot more more of a challenge i think we could have taken them we've been beating his armies so soundly with very few casualties that actually right now i'm kind of regretting starting the game you know at with the same starting conditions that we did it almost would have been more fun at the end to have made it more difficult but Back then, we have no idea what the end of the game would be like. Now I know. You know, if, if running it the way that, that we ran this series. Nice and slow, one day at a time. No, you know, no speed threes. Getting the economies built, getting them strong. Getting, you know, uh, merchandise to sell. And building up. The, the coins, building up the influence, building up everything, getting the militaries going. You know, we could have easily taken on twice the, the difficulty that we're experiencing now. But, of course, back then we couldn't have known. Now that we've gone through this whole journey, it, it's not as scary as it was at the beginning. But, anyway, I am over here. We did get these guys up to this point. Um, Gimli's moving plate armor around. And we're just kind of roaming through Gloin and Gimli to start with and see what we can do to bring them up to well, a reasonable expectation of what a small settlement should look like. Let's add the castle planner and get the garrison tower mounted in. Let's pop you to the side this time. And... We do have some supplies over here. We have a whole mess of roads. Let's put in a road from here to here and flip you, there you go, and bring you down and in and around, staying within these other roads, I think. It can be just a small little settlement over here. It doesn't have to be too much. Can I bring you in like that? Let's round you out just a little bit more. Uh, right there. Okay. If it touches the road, it automatically pops a new one of these in. So I think we'll do that. Build you. And we still have some uncommitted uh, resources. So let's grab a, a tower or two. These are kind of confusing. They call them an outer tower, but you can't really mesh them in with the walls. You can, but too steep to build. Really? Wow. Didn't expect that. Okay. Um, snap 2 is going on? It is, and I can't turn it off. There's no way to... There's no button. There's no way to do it. So we'll just set you... Actually, you have to be aimed outward, which is why you can't be part of an outer wall. 
you've got to access it from this side, but it's from this side that your archers can be up above, I think, unless I'm not seeing something. I don't see any... Well, there are some tiny little windows in there. So maybe that's what they actually shoot the arrows out from. Have I got this backwards this whole time? Is this actually the way it's supposed to be? Like that? It might be. Maybe they shoot outside those tiny little windows. I just assumed they shot out the... the the, the deck out there on top, you know, that stood out there in the porch and fired, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the, boy, what's the word for those arrow slits? Porticles? Port, porta? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, maybe that's how they actually do it. Um, can I handle a few more? I can. Well, let's just, that's the way it wants to auto drop them in, so, nah, with this forest, I don't think we can even see out there, but that ah, will do it anyway. Can I put one more? Do I have enough? You nope, I'm done. I was wondering if I can get one more. Let's, let's see if it'll mount to this. It will not. No matter what I do to it, it says uh-uh. Only up in here. Okay. So we'll go with that and commit. Alright, so that's you you just did a quite a run. What was that? <laughs> I think we you were walking in a in a building zone you weren't supposed to be in. So that's you. Do we have the materials just kind of randomly thinking about doing this? So but I think we're pretty vulnerable over here. If we were ever attacked from the outside, though I don't think that's possible anymore. I think all the uh, activity coming from... Although the, the uh, what are you called? These guys, the outlaws, could come from anywhere. But I think that his influence, probably game code-wise, could only come out of here now. But the outlaws can come in from anywhere. And they're really the biggest threat to a little town like this. So what do we have in the way of... Supplies already just randomly sitting or no What am I not getting here grab you? Why do I not see a list of our supplies? What am I missing here? Close All right What 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 happened there? Let's go to you. I do that in castle planner. See this row right here Where is that? here you, Castle Planner. No construction cost. Well, it's not like the other one had anything set up to build either. Huh. Well, close. I need to drop a road in first. I, I don't know what's, what to make of that. But let's go from here, kind of like that, and curve into there. Okay. And then grab you again and grab the garrison tower. Drop you in. Now it pops in. Okay. Not real sure why that was. It's in no different of a state compared to Gandalf's right now. You. So let's swing you around and see if we have enough to make the run. If we only build this and nothing else. There. With that, we, we're good. We can even handle, what, two more? Two of these towers? Outer towers, let's... Pop you in up here, and you in over here, and 32, 36. Okay, let's put some more of these in afterward, but material-wise, we're, we're in good shape there. You're good, you're good. So you're under construction, we are still running, it is still March. What else is going on over here? My, my, my gaming chair is slowly losing its hydraulic pressure and little by little as I'm recording these episodes it sinks about an, an inch every five to ten minutes and I'm my microphone is raising up in front of my face here let me lift up again there <laughs> I got I gotta work on that anyway Gandalf you are doing what right now I'm just kind of looking through here we're almost at a thousand for our, our royal tax interesting which means we're still year 10 so it's the very end of year 10 and beginning of year 11 that we double the tax so right now it's one tax one coin per person so we have a total population of at least 974 when it hits april it should recalculate to how, however many moved in this you know this next month um over in here let's see Whoa, that was a long pause. It, it gets longer every time I save the game and, you know, the, the save file gets bigger. You guys were not supposed to be here anymore. You 
are probably not doing any more. Oh, we still have. Oh, we have wheat. We have wheat. So I need you in here. Okay, which means we're going to have grain after the wheat finally gets done. Where is the wheat right now? The wheat right now is probably all sitting in traders. Probably bought it to kind of keep that trickle going in, coming in. Um, so you'd be sitting right over here. We're still trading and bringing in. Though I have it from the outside. That's right, I did choose that because we have the, the half of the import price over here. We've got that perk in Gandalf. So we can be bringing these things in at a trickle to keep it processing, keep it coming into the system. And we've we've pretty close to maxed out. So we can keep adding to the beer supply and the, the uh, linen supply and the bread supply while Samwise is trying to keep up with everything. I want to go check on Samwise, see if we can really boost that production. We have a lot of goods just sitting around there. But over here is where I would expect to see some of that. We do have some flax over here, but that's it. And that is which one? That one. So over here, we've got none of it. And over here, we've got some of our wheat and some of our flax. And there's a little bit of barley. So it's from here that it's going to be heading out. How do we move it through the system faster? What are you guys actually doing? Are you sitting here waiting or are you going to go get it? You are all harvesting. Really? Didn't we just put this in? Dudes, are you set to early? You're set to early harvest. <laughs> okay, so that was, that only got a, uh, from, from October till now, growth on it was hardly anything. And that's where the wheat came from, is sitting out here in the field. There's the wheat. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect that. But I'm curious about something, though. It's kind of, with that happening and only using six months of the fertilization you did what it took the whole years for the fertilization away so a crop is a crop whether it's a six month crop six month of growth or a year of growth it still counts the same way okay so you were a mistake and you were a mistake and this is now fallow and this is soon to be now fallow Okay, so you got to stay in there. You guys need to be processing it. And how are you guys doing? Two in there, two in there. How's our meat doing? Click away and 105 meat. So by having this many people in the, the forester uh, camps or hunting camps, uh, people, and we'll grab you two, chasing them all the way across. Are you hunting or dragging? You are hunting, and you are heading out to these guys right here. Okay, so though the game has got a problem, and instead of putting the deer here, it's putting them way over there, having uh, click away and click away. Let me think this through. Been a while, and I can barely see them. One, I know there's three in here somewhere. There we are. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight hunting camps. So 16 hunters making the long trek is still able to keep us in a decent amount of meat. More meat than we can eat. So that's that's the surplus numbers. So you know, zero would be potentially all the food booths, food stalls filled. So we're 104 beyond, 103 beyond what the food booths need. So we made it work despite the game having a problem with that okay otherwise we've got malt house over here you guys aren't doing much do we have it'd be nice to get a few more families over here to double up on things like the malt house even though there's not a lot of barley in here it'd be nice to have enough people to be transporting it properly and where are you going where are you going this granary out here for some reason has flour interesting Okay, advance. Thank you for, for letting me know that. I want only meat over here. Any, any other reason for anything else? There's no berries, so there's no herbs. And there's no carcasses, so it's just meat. Alright, so only meat needs to be out here. 
good. And you guys do not need to be running a booth. No, 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 no. Click away. Go away. No booths that far away from town. All right. So otherwise, it's over... Where are we? The trees have been filled in, so it's hard to figure out what we're doing anymore. This road. Oh, this used to be open field. This was all open field. The forest was ended right here, and that's why I put this road out here. It was kind of the divider between the forest and the plains, or the meadows. And the, uh, um, where is the forester for this area? You're one of these two. So these guys, people, and these guys, people. Ah, you guys have been doing all the planting over here. You guys are probably home. You probably have done your job and you're finished planting. But yeah, they, they filled it all back in. That's why it's hard to recognize. It seems like I have to go deeper into the forest to even find my hunters anymore. And two more. So we're 10 now. So we're 20 hunters to maintain 100 meat. Okay, to walk that distance. There gives you an idea of what it took to overcome that bug of the, of the migrating deer herds. I like the migrating deer herds. I do wish they would stay within our own border, but they shouldn't be isolated to a circle here. Deer should be able to roam through all the forests. And as you build into the forest, they should migrate away naturally. Raining? Raining. Very soft little rain rain's dropping down all right so we have blown probably what a half hour 20 minutes just over here let's get over to samwise and yet yeah, rain softly falling on the fields did i mess up i don't have any i never got you done okay some of these were iffy a lot of iffy over here so not much in the way of flax coming in this time but looks like most of the barley made it in okay um i don't have any farmers still in the farms over here I had left a farmer in here to finish the crop and to finish, no, finish threshing. And I never took them out. And that's why they were here to activate when this happened. And we're still waiting for you guys to finish. Now, why have you not? You are still here. You are doing this weird thing of 7%, 7%, and 3%. So, it's like nobody is actually harvesting anymore. Yeah. Oh, because I took off early harvest, so you won't finish the job now. Okay. We'll let you finish the job so we can follow it uh, properly. All right, I got it. All right, so over here, I've got one extra family only. What I wanted to do was to start plowing through this, you know, 442 wheat a lot faster. So, most of that is sitting where, which means we need to get somebody back in to one of these, wherever all the wheat's sitting. Wheat, there it is. And you do have one in here. And you're where? Let's make sure you're not actually harvesting a field. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, you're you're filling it in. You're finishing it off. I see. It's still supposed to be flax, even though we never got there and finished it. So now that it's, it's a season... Although it doesn't actually say it. If you look at autumn, it says harvesting, plowing, and sowing. In spring, it doesn't actually say sowing. But frequent rains and seasonal deposits regrow. Regrow, that's interesting. Seasonal deposits. It's a weird way of wording it. I'm not exactly sure what that means. But they are attempting to fill these in now. So let's, let's let them. Let's fill up one farm. You guys don't have any any uh, limitations anymore, so you can go anywhere, which means they could kind of fill in the rest of these too. They could. Um, Funds-wise, we're great, so we can shut down your, your cash crop of this. Oh, I never got it going again. Never mind. So I can't shut that down. How are we doing on clay? Clay is still a lot, and roofing tile still a lot, so we're, we've got a lot in the bank. So I can't shut you down. Who can I... I don't want to touch trading again. That's, that's why we're being so successful at the moment. Um, I don't want to get into malt. So it was that's what I was over here for. The barley is doing decent. And flax and wheat. So those industries, the malt, the weaver, and the, the grinding. In fact, I was wondering whether I needed to put another one of these in. We had a whole boatload of flour. Yeah, let's put another windmill in somewhere. I wanted to get all that going, which means I still need more houses. And we have them, don't we? These are not full. Though we got a lot of them done, but still, they're not full. 
Yeah, there's a lot of red zeros here. Samwise needed construction work. Yeah, we, we just em emptied everybody. I was, click away, I was looking for someone to start filling in those voids, and now I really don't know who. Um, hunting 14 of 20. I have one in each. I could eliminate one of those. I think I could. Uh, berries are employed now. That's what we're doing. So I don't, I need to leave those, at least one in each, all the way through. And our one in here to help them out. Okay. Foresters? Is that where I go? Uh, foresters as far as replanting. I could go there. That's you. So there's two. And there's another one over here somewhere. The one I kept calling a forager's hut, which wasn't. Take you out so that you guys can go away. Uh, firewood is in great shape, except that we're using you to stock firewood stalls. You're close enough to fill in a firewood stall. So are you. There's, So you're the furthest one away. Let's take you out. So if we lose a firewood stall, it'll be the one who had the... Although, you're not too far away from them, too. Okay, there is that. Um, by doing that, I've noticed that the, the structures will abandon immediately. Firewood stall abandoned. So how are we... We're still good. We still have plenty of fuel and clothing. So I could probably take out one of these guys and see what that does to us. None of these instantly abandoned. And we're still good there. Can I pull another one out? And overall, we're still good. Because they pretty much instantly abandoned. So this one, Marketplace, you are a firewood stall. So these pulling these guys out will, will cause those to happen. And yet we're still 100 and 100. So I can even pull even one more out and not shoot us in the foot. But that does give us enough to get that one farm up and running and still have one family left. Okay, so that goal's been accomplished. I would like to get another windmill going. So farming and windmill is right there. It'd be nice if it was somewhere out in the farming area. And this actually qualifies really well over here. And now I can turn off snap to roads. Good. And I'm just kind of listening to myself and realizing how fast I'm talking and and how how many words are coming out of my mouth at once I just got done drinking a Kirkland cold brew coffee 100% Colombian and these things work they taste horrible because I don't like black coffee and this is just black coffee but wow there's like power in that can <laughs> Anyway, you guys are going. This is this is one of the older of our orchards, and they're looking great. Let's see what some of the newer orchards are looking like. We want to go over to the manor. Here we are. So surrounding the manor, we just fill this area with orchards. So this is probably second year growth. These are first year growth, and that those other ones we just saw were original. So they're at least third year, and three is where it it um, matures and brings in a full uh, royal tax increase. We just hit April? I think we did. So when it, the game does update, this should be fixed. It's just a, a space filler right now. 995. Looks like we're going to hit the 1,000 population point before this series ends. That's That sounds like a, a good uh, goal to, to head for. I wish there were more voids in here. Whenever I've got stuff on my UI, on my screen, I want to click somewhere and have that turn everything off and usually end up clicking on something else which just brings up another box click somewhere click somewhere so there we go anyway orchards are looking good um what i wanted to see was is there any way of knowing how well they're working i mean we can look at the storage what was that why did you bounce i don't know this caused this to reset to its original tab that was interesting Going storage is full mining pit. We need to go over there next. Um, anyway, back to general. So, no apples are in storage. Now, these probably harvest a certain time of year. So, that's probably what I need to, to you know, I probably can't get a measurement here no matter how hard I try. Okay. Um, in general, we have no apples at all. So, we've eaten through what they made. And there aren't apples anywhere else. Apples are only in Samwise. We didn't take that, spend that perk point on any uh, any other place. But let's head over to this area and see what's happening. So you guys, we do have our two mines going over here, two in each, and we have already collected 
that many, 268 of them. And we have three families. Let's get us. There's already two in here. Let's put a third one in. And trade wise, there we go. And let's think here. That is under here, iron ore. So 269 to zero. We are not saving any. And in the stock over here is only 46. So now a third family should help us to get more people transporting and carrying. As well, I guess these guys right here. Ah, that would help out too if these guys would go and collect it. At least at that point it would be brought to a halfway point. And we have somebody in this one? Uh, right there we have one in that one. I'm sure they're overwhelmed. But we didn't put another market area in here did we no um how are we looking we're way low on food variety okay let's get into the market going on we've been increasing our population oh we did put more over here and firewood and firewood are both abandoned interesting now clothing we only have now we we've we're, we're capable of making shoes over here now we are let's get a couple of upgrades going what do i need i know logs okay so we need a family in the logs so in that case we do have to pull you back out all right we'll do that get somebody in logs planks we spent all of our planks interesting how it's negative four i know they can't be real it won't let you build something if you don't already have logs to do it so it has something to do with the rebuilding of the manor it, it does that one, it does is it takes it back out and then puts it back in, like they're rebuilding the manor house itself on top of adding the the garrison and the towers and the and the fencing. So it, it does a weird little thing with the with the timber. It corrects itself later. But that's what that's all about. But we do need more planks and I doubt I have that up and running either. Right there, saw pit. No. So where do I steal a couple of families? We've got berry season going, and here we've got the 128. We've got the big, uh, in fact, we've, already, we've taken that point, haven't we? Yeah. So we're probably going to need more than just the three families we have in here. You and you, and there is another right there. So we have you all up and going, and this is Gloins. That means I'm over here for the granary. We don't have anybody here. We need to get that going, too. So I need to pull, I guess, a miner out of each one of these pits. Let's go that route. That didn't work, did it? I clicked, and nothing happened. All right, so you're out, and I need to get one person into here. So one person making logs, one person cutting planks, so you guys are available. Did we ever get this up and going? You're available, so we can start pulling clay out of here when we need to. But mostly we just need to get the uh the ore the iron ore moved boy that's doing a lot of bouncing you can't just keep that pop-up on the screen huh i keep it wiggling so we need to get the iron ore moved over here so that gimli can run over and buy it you guys are you were doing quite the vibration a little moment ago your cart's gone now yeah i noticed last episode during that battle over there it was actually a traitor just like him that was rolling through the battle got stuck he couldn't get through the the line of troops across the road he eventually um not devolved what despawned that's the word i want he despawned and just left the horse behind and the horse was just sitting there with the troops you know mingling all around him i had to watch that over again to see what happened is all i noticed during the episode while i was filming it was that there was a horse randomly sitting there i didn't notice how he got to be there um so another granary over here not that there's anybody to run it but let's at least get not granary marketplace let's at least put a place in and these steep areas might be a great place for it since we can't do anything else there so let's think about that up in here let's do that can i get another well in this area anywhere i can you are there sure let's put you over here spin you we are out of logs Okay, we gotta we have to come back. All right, so what's happening over here? Any important messages for Pippin? So Gloin and that's Samwise, uh, Burgage plots, pantries full, and Gandalf hunting camp. But it hasn't popped again, so I guess we're okay. 
uh, Samwise and a bunch of retinue were bought. Gimli communal oven. Market area for Gimli. Okay. So I can't... So the market area... Oh, I can do a market area. I just can't do a well. Okay. So where am I? Right over here. So I can't put the well in right there. But I can put the market area in, say, from here. Actually, this would be a nice place to put some more houses if we did. Yeah. Um... Let's go from here to here to there. That's five. Let's go back a notch. There's three. Really? That tiny little point? Five. That's all we're going to get. Okay. Um, what if I did that backwards? To that point, up and over. There we go. Well, I guess we'll go that route. Okay, you're good. Build you. Another noise. Uh, a whole bunch of Samwise. Look at all these Burgage plots that are being built. They're all level 1s. So all the, that, that long row of homes. Yeah. But that leaves me a good space for a double plot here and here. When we finally get some logs. Yeah, they get a 7 logs now. And you, generic storage is full. You are still full. Yeah. Let's pull these families out. You and... I will leave you going for now. So leave you out and let's put somebody else into here to help move goods around. That seems better. We've got a lot of click away. We've got a lot of surplus. 262, 263 iron ore. So we're good there. So you are the mine. You are fine. Over here, we haven't been to Gimli yet. But Gandalf's slow, still looking pretty good. Samwise is building Burgage plots like crazy. I think it's this group over here that's building. And Gimli. How are we doing in Gimli? And El, El, what is his name? I can, Elrond just came into my mind. That wasn't it. Alright, pop into here. You are... Where? Pop again. There you are. Earhart. That's who you are. Yeah. You're just perpetually cold. You are. Low blood pressure. That must be it. How are we doing in here? These are vegetables. We did get them turned on. We do have families living here now. And we've got the ability to house four in each one because they're tier threes and they're both double plots. There's the second house right there. So we still have a lot of space, a lot of capacity for more families to move in. Food-wise, we're at eight months and we're just starting getting going over here. So we should be fine. One in each one in each okay there's a third one here somewhere you're kind of right there that tree is hidden it every time um always checking the state of this guy and i doubt this will get finished at all it never seems to make it to this plot he's now got to fill in all the rest of all these tier threes before this gets filled into a new house that's kind of how it works so I wish, hopefully later there will be a way of setting a priority on everything. Which house gets moved into, which item gets traded first. There needs to be a, a full-blown priority system throughout the entire game. That, that would be, that would give you so much more control over how you want to start shifting items around. You know, which, which products, which industry, which parts of which industry. You know, make this actually work. Highest threshing priority means we're going to thresh it as it comes in, which is incredibly inefficient. But if you're at zero food, yes, please, let's turn that into a loaf of bread. Then go get another one and make another loaf of bread. Let's let's stave off the starvation rather than waiting for three months to finish the crop. How did we do over here? There is nobody hired, so nobody got messed up. Okay, and... You and you. Emma is starting to come back. In fact, I could almost replant right now. I almost could, but I don't want to reallocate all of the uh, all of the families around to do something like that and pull it off. Yeah. How are you guys doing over here in that regard? So everything has finally been, been plowed. I assume that we're starting... No, we are sowed. We're just not uh, showing. 199, 100... 88 so it's happening there was a mess up over here and you're not forced early what does this mean 
There's still the tiniest bit that didn't get taken out, so it's still growing. Interesting. We're in April. Let's go ahead and do this. Let them take out the 1% so they can quickly process that and get it mostly done. You... I don't know what is up with you. Same thing? It only got partly done, and that little part is growing. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. You guys can clean this up. We can add that to our pile of of 143 barley okay and then I assume the rest of them are out working on you are a partial as well sure let's clean up the partials everything we didn't quite get done last time they're also going to be working on some of these which uh, the ones that got a tiny bit done are it's you yeah you only got 45% done so let's force early harvest We'll get our tiny bit out and get a chance of getting a six-month growth out of that, out of the next round of it. Sure, we'll do that. Um, here's where I'm heading. What's happening over here? Are you guys, same thing, we only got a tiniest little bit in there. Let's get the tiny little bit cleaned up and then go through it all. You did make it. In fact, you just got done. They're doing these now, the ones that aren't partially happening but never got touched. They're now working on those like they were never done originally, you know, like like it like they're brand new. So that's been done. You just got done. You're being done. Okay. And a little bit of growth is beginning. This one is a mistake, so let's get you forced to empty. This did get done properly over here. And we were here. Yeah, I did that one already. Okay. No point in getting into this last field over here. Uh, that would be barley? Yeah. So that one... You know, if we had continued the series for a while, we'd eventually have had more barley fields and another farm over here to, to handle these areas. But I don't see the point in that. And right now we are taking out logs, dropping trees over here, right up to the border. Right up to it. <laughs> in fact, we told somebody else to do that too. You guys. I set you all the way out into here. So I'm curious to see if they will continue chopping even though it's not Gloin, but it is our province. Just like you can grow roads, you can draw roads right on through a, a borderline because it is ours on both sides. I'm curious to see if these guys are capable of, of continuing to chop into the forest if I give them instructions to because it is part of our region. But don't know. You guys are doing that. So what else needs to be worked on right now? April... Nothing is coming to mind right now. Where am I at? 40 some minutes. Okay. Um, let's add two. These guys. And I guess let's turn these around. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's work on these. So, city planner, or castle planner. So if you, can I, how do you delete? Uh, alt. Alt. You. And you are an actual... Okay, alt U and alt U. I gotta put you back or they won't count for the fencing anymore. But I can put you in a better place. No, I can't. So if I reset, click away, how do I undo? If I hit close and do this now. So how do I undo now? I don't know. I guess I just set you. You won't let me do anything right now. Interesting. Road access. I can do you. I can't do anything on the inside. So I'm going to have to do this. Just to get my, my zone back. Yeah. So that... It won't let me build in here. Wild. Once you're done, you lose it. I can't do anything inside or, or on the fence line. That's pretty wild. So, alt. I'm alting. Let's pull away. Now alt. Pull these back. Okay. So, I can't add anything more to this now. Uh, one more over here. And I can't undo and say, just kidding. Drag to relocate, select, rotate, remove, 
Replace module. If I alt you again, no, and I click click you. Remove point, adjust, drag walls, building placement, hold to rotate before placement, place module. So I can't click, right click, left click. I can't reset, I can't close. So this one, oh, I can place roads from here. Can I place roads inside? I kind of can. At least it, it acts like it can. Click. No, it won't let me. It's just pretending. Yeah, wild. Okay, well, I messed that one up and I don't see any way to fix it. I don't see none of these work. Close doesn't seem to... Maybe close does help. Um, we're running and there's no little construction symbol over it. Where are you guys going? You are warehouse worker transporting dyes. Okay. So apparently it's going to maintain it. I just can no longer get in here and do any kind of altering. Ah, nope, nope. It, it is still messed up. So it thinks that they're gone. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. So I can't add to anything in, inside of, of it once the walls are built. Okay. Remember that. Got to get it all done ahead of time. Which means you've got to get have a lot of building materials ready. So that you can get everything placed how you want. Hmm. Okay, so no more working on those. We've got a storm coming in and it's windy. So we have a potential lightning strike about to happen. Three people are assigned over here. So food long term. Eight months and six months of fuel. Fuel is coming out of here. And we only have the one. That's the only one we've got. So we'll toss one more in there to help out, and we will get rid of. You must be, yeah. You must be a family that's running your own, uh, your own stall as far as, you know, one of these. Okay, that makes sense. So anybody else to upgrade? You are tier three. No, you're tier two. So we can get you back up to a tier three and get you to a tier three. Great. So that makes all of our big, uh, veggie plots, veggie farms, tier threes. Which means four families to try to run them. Okay, so Gandalf is set there. Over here, how are we doing? We're going to fill these in. We are going to fill these in. Didn't mean to do that. Turn you... Did you... We're... Yeah, we don't know what we're doing here. We can try to fallow. And it went away and do that. Okay, so we're kind of done here. And you guys probably haven't worked on any of that because this doesn't work and you're spending all your time in the field so you're still waiting and you're not doing anything either uh -huh. now they're going to come in and work on the threshing should say crafting yeah two people are crafting one is going home all right so that cleans that up you guys are doing your thing over here and there's three extra people there's actually a lot to do as far as cleaning up these random fields here early spring so let's go ahead and put well, I was going to say two more in, but actually, let's get you built and get you stocked. Yeah, let's let's concentrate over there. You've eight farming families can handle all this stuff till it's done, whenever that is. So orchards are still in bloom. No, uh, nothing more to do there. Malt. We did get two malts going. We have two families in each malt house, and they are doing their thing. So malt. That's over here, right there. There you are, 148. So lots of malt available. Um, so it's the brewers. Brewers are making booze, and that is 51. So we're staying just above the 50 mark, which is what we want to maintain in town. So pull away. Brew. No, brew's over here. And we talked about getting another one. Under construction. It's doing it again. The game keeps rebuilding this. And I don't know why. Every other episode, this gets finished again. There is something going on with this property. Let's get another brewer going. Now, we talked about that over here as the third plot. That's right, we did. It was you. And I don't know if they are actually doing much. We do have some activity. Let's get one more going on. You are also now a... Why can't we? Planks. We're out of planks. Okay. Pull away. Planks are out in here. We do have somebody in planks. 
interesting. So we do have somebody hauling logs around and we do have 47 timbers and we have some reason we have negative two planks. So you have timbers available, but the timbers are all way out over here at the border. Here? Here. So the timbers are all laying on the ground over here. Yeah, quite a few of them, 48. So they're chopping them all down, but they're not bringing them all over here to this place, which would then be close to drop them off into here. Interesting. So there is a family here. I could give them their own ox. I've not found that that does a lot of good. That usually what happens then is somebody goes to wherever the ox is, is housed, which is usually the opposite side of the map for you know for the use because we can't we can't decide where the ox lives and then drags a log over and then drags back and drops off the ox and goes home and then somebody else will come over and do it and then they'll go home so it's always better to have somebody else in fact it just flat out is so advanced where is this here advanced take that back let's tell you guys to do it instead right there <clears throat> you guys can have one of these two there we go you're going to take over Heinz and you're going to be delivering logs whether or not you're going to deliver to here is, an, is another thing but when you finally do start delivering to here you're going to do it repeatedly and just keep it going but right now there's probably a whole queue in the game code backed up for where all these logs go and where they're supposed to be and just waiting for someone to go and get them so you are most likely involved with doing just that. You are interesting. You are using your ox to plow fields. That's pretty wild. Otherwise, these two are at home and, and doing this as well. So the small stables, their personnel are doing the farming, farm plowing instead of the farmers which farm was that here instead of the farmers doing the livestock you're waiting for a guide interesting now which ones are waiting um guiding an ox and guiding an ox so the first two or three are not what i'm thinking about doing is one, two, three, four, and putting in over here where we actually have a lot of our farming to do. Uh, here, one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, livestock advanced, you have it. And over here, did I leave you in there? Advanced, you did. So you still have livestock. Okay. So that gives us a potential of two, four, and six and even eight people you guys are now doing what guiding an ox interesting so it's almost like putting enabling the farm to have two plows enables the plows but not necessarily the oxen because others these guys instead of the farmers doing the plowing the uh, stables are doing the plowing so if you man your stables, you have the greatest potential to get out there and get all the plowing done. I didn't know that was a thing. Huh. So by doing this, livestock, these are all horses. Okay, where's another stable? All these tier twos look like stables. The same roof. Uh, you, livestock. There's a couple more, so if I were to say yes there, then people, bunch of waitings, they're, they're waiting for their orders, ox handlers, eventually they may be plowing fields as well. Hmm, okay, well there's a potential bonus when harvesting season comes up, plowing, yeah, plowing and sowing season comes up. It may be that they will assist. You are waiting for a guide. Somebody is coming. Yeah. Where am I at? I'm at mid-50 minute range. So this episode is about done. 
Uh, you are not. You are. Over here, three people available. How are we on our goal of iron slabs and iron ore? Iron slabs are needing a little more help. So that is over here and back. There we are. So how are these guys doing? You, one family, two families, one family, one, 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 and none. So put you in there to help out. And you made a mistake the other episode when I was saying that these guys are more efficient when we've got plenty of people working in here because they'll empty them. But actually, this one doesn't accept any of the iron slabs in order to empty them out. It's these guys that accept all the iron slabs. And we put another one in. So really, it's you that accept all the iron slabs. So the more I put into here, the more efficient the storehouse is going to be by bringing all of the iron slabs over and there's not a single iron slab over here yeah are you all in this one iron slabs there's no iron slabs over here either so who's collecting the iron slabs you guys are supposed to be doing absolutely nothing but that so what are you actually doing and does it really mean anything to say this because we're still dropping off all of the shoes and the spears and the iron, the plate armor and the mail armor and the shields in here. Um, people, you are all transporting. But is anybody transporting an iron slab? Iron slab, okay, you are. You probably are. You're in the right place. Okay. And you guys are all just kind of going home. Though you, yeah, you are gathering something. So I guess the ones that are collecting something are going after iron slabs they must just be using them as fast as because these guys are using eight at a time so I would imagine it's going to take a full storehouse in order to bring as much iron over as fast as they can turn that into one item that makes sense okay so with that feel like there was one more thing I wanted to do. Yeah, I wanted to get shoes going over in here if that was possible. But I didn't have any logs. That's what it was. Let's get you three. Just one. So you're going to be turning as soon as you're built. And kick you up to highest. We'll make you a cobbler. And you can then make shoes out of the leather that's building up over here. 56 leather. And same thing over here. Let's make one of these guys a tier two in fact we can make all these yeah but i wouldn't want to turn any of these guys doubles into a cobbler i don't know if i have any singles over here i don't think i put any in interesting and we're probably maxed out no we have lots of extra housing we do where is it all at these guys are all waiting okay so i guess we do make one of you guys a cobbler let's we're gonna put a just a single plot let's road through here up into okay we'll do this in pieces there to there to there yeah I like that okay and house from here to here I want to do something that's kind of like that. Won't let me. Okay. I follow that road around. Come on, give me a backyard. I need a backyard. Um, how do I get a backyard? If we grow it from here over. And something like that. There's a backyard. Um, so if we did the whole thing. You to there. There's two but no backyards. That doesn't work either. Okay, just kind of moving around. No backyards. Come down this side. Nothing. All right, we'll go to there and play with you. No backyards. Got to go to here to get a backyard. And now you're angry. Now you're completely angry. Do we... No, we have plenty of logs. What just went wrong here? You to you to there. And there's two houses, one with a backyard. Interesting. Let's start over from here out to there and see what we get there and like that that's no good there and like that there's two of the backyard and one without huh so really there's so many varieties 
you, it's just a matter of where you start and where your midpoint is and there's so many different combinations look at that one there's four houses and a backyard we're not even using it all as soon as I use it all it takes it away and penalizes us wild let's go with that one build you okay get you built and there's another backyard for more chickens and we've got money over here not really we can put in one chicken over here yeah where's now eh, we'll keep the bushes in there it, it strips it all out when you do it so let's turn you into a chicken there you go so we need to get something click away there we are we need to get something sold over here you trader trader so we need a family in here to do it you're there and I don't have these set at all so that's yeah that's gonna be a problem but we have stone to get rid of uh, 38 not really we need to get you up and going we'll do that so we can start building up some clay so we'll have something to sell later yeah that's probably your product to sell glowing has stuff to sell already and is and is starting to make a little bit of money let's give you another chicken your chicken let's make you a chicken chicken right there and you are going to be the tell me I didn't just do it where's the one that I said you're gonna be the cobbler uh, you you're still under construction okay so you're gonna be the cobbler when you become a level two okay anyway I think we've got all five settlements in a good place right now I think next episode we're going to take on the last province and uh, toss the Baron out completely from our our region take the whole area over as our fiefdom yeah and then we'll see what happens how does the game end i assume that's an end at least an excuse for an end i would guess that you can continue afterward if you wanted to but i don't know what happens when the last province goes down so it'll be interesting to see what happens there i'm going to call this one done here thanks for watching folks and i'll catch you next time bye bye now